I made the amazing digital circus out of candy, starting with Pomni and working my way all the way up to Kane himself. To make Pomni the main character of this show, I will start with this lollipop, which will make her face. I used some icing to make her a hat and then added candy eyes. Next up is Ragatha, the friendly raggedy doll. That sounds like Agatha, which is an old person name. You cannot convince me that Ragatha is not 900 years old. Anyway, I got a bunch of these purple cloud candies and melted them together, stacking them up to make her dress. I made her head by getting a marshmallow, then sticking a bunch of red candy strips in for hair. Two candy eyes make her eyes. I melted the head onto the body to finish off Ragatha. Next up is my favourite character, Jax. He's a funny little rabbit who doesn't care about anyone else. Like, at all. The wiki says he might be a sociopath. Um, anyway. To make him, I got some fondant in red and blue. What's fondant? It's like icing. Actually, it is icing. Actually, I'm not sure what the difference is. Anyway, by mixing red and blue, we get purple fondant, which is what I want. I can mash that into the shape of Jax. The next character is Gangle, who is a really happy lady. Oh, never mind, someone broke her mask and now she's depressed again. This happens a lot. Personally, I don't think you should let your mood be dictated by your drip. To make her, I used more fondant for the masks and then curled up raspberry strips to make the body. Done. Kinger is the next guy here. He's old. Like, really old. He could be as old as 40 years. That's practically in his deathbed. To make him out of candy, I'm gonna go unnecessarily complicated. Step one, I found a real chess piece. Step two, I mixed up some pink silicone. While this may look delicious and nutritious, it is in fact not yummy because it is not for eating. It's actually for casting a mold of this chess piece. Once the mold sets, I can pull out the chess piece and then move on to step three. Since Kinger is a white chess piece, I'll use some white chocolate, melting it down and pouring it into the mold. Step four, take Kinger out of the mold and don't let it break. Step 4.5, stick it back together using chocolate. Step five, put him on a place and add eyes. There, Kinger is done. The last surviving human in the amazing digital circus so far is Zubal. Zubal is, um, I'm not sure what Zubal is. They weren't really in the first episode much. I'm also, I've got no idea how to make that out of candy. Okay, since Zubal is made of random parts, I'm gonna make it out of random candy. There, Zubal. There was actually one more human trapped in the digital circus. Cosmo the Clown. Unfortunately, he's not a clown anymore, having abstracted into a big pibby style glitch monster. Since he's a big horrid monster, I'm gonna make him out of the most horrid candy imaginable, licorice. I got all my random chunks of licorice left over from my last videos and put them into an abstracted shape. Then sprinkle on a bunch of candy eyes to make Cosmo after his makeover. He looks so slay queen. The next character I'll make is Bubble. As far as I can tell, there are three or four different bubbles because Kane keeps on killing them. That's horrible. Why would he do that? <laughs> Actually, never mind. If they look like that, go for it, Kane. I will make no changes to it at all. Yeah, that's bubble. Yeah, it's the wrong color as well. I don't have white gumballs. Finally, I'll make Kane. He looks like a pair of dentures with eyes inside. Kind of like something else with eyes inside its mouth. Coincidence? Huh? I'll make him using two gummy teeth combined with some gumball eyeballs. I got one green and one blue, just like in the show. That finishes Kane. I've now made all of the amazing digital circus out of candy. Time to eat them. Thanks to my members here for supporting the money. Become a member to give me channel.